Kodo Gogas will fight against Saddam Ali, who is a young guy who's up and coming. Kodo was once that young guy like Saddam Ali. Does your advice change for him? His men the mental approach to this fight change going into this type of fight, knowing this is it? Yes, when you mix in generations like that, it does change. I mean, you, you've got a young guy coming up, fighting an older fighter. It, you know, the thing is, it's just uh, it's very difficult, of course, and that's why we're training so hard for this fight because we know we're going against the younger generation, young Olympian, and a guy who can box a little bit. I mean, this, we you know, we have to take this fight really, really seriously, of course, and we do every fight, but we're training really hard for this fight. Great sparring partners we have, and uh, everything's working out well. And he's working out with, with a lot of young fighters also, and. Uh, Aaron Pico, one of my better prospects coming up right now, and he happens to be a, 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 a MMA fighter, but he, is, he has great hands, so, and he's quick and he's 20 years old. So, you know, we're trying to duplicate what the, the, you know, how hard these guys are, are, are to be. And lastly, do you think that, do you think you'll cry, do you think it'll be that type of emotion once the fight is done, no matter the outcome? I cry, I don't think I'll cry, but I think, <laughs> but uh, I will miss him for sure. Yes, and uh, yeah, the, the the worst thing is like being him on the phone, like not too good, because we're both very kind of shy, quiet people, you know. So we don't have really, really good long conversations, and my bill won't get too big. Last question. Last will be a promoter of younger Puerto Rican fighters. He has some already. Are you going to be training those boxers? Yes, um, Kodo will send me a lot of his boxers. I already have one who just won the one world, world title and that's one of Kodo's fighters. And um, he's just some good prospects. And there's a couple guys that are training my gym that he's interested in and wants to sign. So I, I, I like that. We have a new promoter in, in, in the world and um, I think he'll do a great job at it. There's already a lot of debate on social media now that Cotto's career is coming to an end, whether or not he's the greatest Puerto Rican fighter of all time. How do you rank him? I rate him as the best one of all time, but the thing is, yeah, it, it, people have opinions and so forth. And there's, there's a lot of great fighters. I like Rafael Gomez. I think he was one of my favorite Puerto Rican fighters ever. Yeah, I mean, until he lost to the great Mexican war. <laughs> you know, I mean, he was great until then, but then things change. <laughs> When, you. when you walk into the wild card here, it's almost like a museum with all the pictures, the artwork. You get a feeling like mission accomplished that you took Cotto uh, during a uh, lower time in his career and brought him back up to the very top of the board. It was really good. The thing is, he just had to make some, some, some really, really small changes, and he made those adjustments really, really easy and so forth. And I know why Manny Pacquiao beat him, and I told him why Manny Pacquiao beat him, and I showed him. And I showed him why, and the thing is that that wasn't going to ever happen again.